Alright, here we go, here we go. closet here we got it all primed out and I thought I'd do a little video to explain the red glazing that you're seeing on top of the primer now um, pretty much this is a red glaze um, filling compound that we use on top of primer it's like our insurance policy on all the prep work we've done before as you've probably seen in previous posts these built-ins are prepped before primer so we dab them we fill all the nail holes any major dents or scratches anything that's really deep screw holes and stuff we do all that filling before primer we sand that all smooth we dap it all we dust this out and give it a prime then the red glazing putty is like our insurance policy on all the prep work we've done so you know if there was a screw or a nail there before then we read it over right which probably there was a nail there so we read it again this is going to give everything a nice uniform look after we sand this all down. So what we're using is we use these dynamic sponges and a medium grit. And that medium grit is like this 150 we use. We also use this 150 to sand the spackle um, before we prime it. If we see empty nail holes after primer, we don't use the red because the red is going to shrink. So we fill it again with dry decks when you see the empty holes 
Um, you don't want to be using red on empty, deep holes, scratches. If there's a chunk taken out of this, red glazing putty will shrink, guys. I'll say millions of times, over and over and over again, that this stuff will shrink. So if guys are using it on a bare MDF or bare wood and stuff like that, you're not supposed to do that. This is supposed to be on top of primer. You don't want to use this as a body filler. This stuff, if you put it on too thick, if the mill's too thick, it will crack. And if you put it in empty nail holes, empty screw holes, it will shrink and you will have to red that nail hole two, three, sometimes four times, depending how deep it is. I guarantee you that. So this stuff, guys, I just want to do a little video to explain to you that it goes on top of the primer. So once we got it on the primer, then we use these sponges to go around and start sanding this all through. And the key is not to completely get rid of the red. If you see imperfections, they get sanded down, right? But you don't want to get rid of it all. You want it to sort of do its job. Right? So I don't sand it down all the way. I make sure it's smooth. I make sure there's no high spots around the edges. You know what I mean? Like if someone sanded this like that, that's not good enough. There's still a little high edge there. You can see it. And when you put the sheen on this, when you put whatever sheen, if it's 10 degree, 20 degree, if it's semi-gloss, if it's gloss, whatever it may be, if once that sheen is applied, that's when you're gonna see all those little deficiencies. So that's what we do with that, guys. We're gonna sand this all down with a sponge. Get it all smooth, and we're gonna dust it off, blow it, vacuum it, whatever it might be, and that'll then we'll put our top coat of lacquer on here. Depending on budgets and stuff like that, sometimes this will get another prime coat. It really depends. That's for a whole nother video in itself. But this has had two prime coats on it, so we'll just spray lacquer on top of all this red once it's dusted. It's compatible and it works. When you're using whites, sometimes we'll go and we'll spot prime all this red before we sand it all. We'll just sand the red, we'll spot prime it, and then we'll sand it all completely. Because when you're using white lacquer especially, the whites don't really cover that well on top of the red. Um, I wish I could get a gray or a, say a light blue, compound but here in Canada we can't really do that so the red is what we use so that's what we're gonna do guys we're gonna sand this all down dust it all put our top coats of lacquer on start a dap check give it a buff if it needs it and and yeah that's how we go from here so thanks for tuning in always much love all right guys so here's a perfect example see if you can see that there's a massive chunk taken out of the door here Right, so that chunk, if you were to try and fill that with red, with that red glaze, it wouldn't work. You'd be over and over and over again trying to fill that baby. Right, so we use the spackle, sand it, shape it to what it needs to be, hit it with a little bit more primer, and then red it again. All right, y'all, back again. As you can see, all sanded, dusted, smooth, Vacuum her out, we vacuum all these bottoms out. Vacuum around the bottoms here and stuff like that. Get her kind of dust free as much as we can. Then we blow it all out. Once we have it all blown, then we're gonna put our top coat of lacquer, our first coat, we're gonna get the color on. And then we go around after and we start dap checking it all. No hitting any areas that might still have crap showing. Something like that, right? We'll come in, we'll dap check it and we'll make it all seamless. So. Stay tuned for that, y'all, because we'll show you how that's done. And uh, like I said, it was hard day's work, but we got her all sanded. We feel everything out by hand. You know, we like to do it that way. Um, and we get it real nice and smooth. We're using a Sullivan-based primer, PX primer from Cloverdale Paints. So it's easy to sand and beautiful. Um, so yeah, stay tuned because we'll be spraying this out early in the morning.
All right, y'all, so back again. As you can see, my face shield is doing its job, protecting that glass, boom. So what we're doing here now is we got everything gap checked, right? We got it all lightly buffed. Anything that needed gap, we dapped it. If there's any corners that have a black gap or anything like that, we dap that in. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on that finish coat. So once again, it comes down to try and do it all in one or break it off. This bottom here, I feel like I'm gonna have to do that again in the end. There's a lot of points where it's gonna break and stop. You know, I'm gonna do this built and when I get to here, you know, I gotta somehow go this way. So that's a tough one there, but definitely know that this middle section, We're gonna do this last. So I'm probably gonna come from here, around, you know, back down this way, out the door, and then back to this built-in here and around. So stay tuned, y'all. I'm gonna lay this down on here nice. Got the 410 kicking in the machine this time, so stay tuned, y'all. Christmas Day. Finally get it done. Stay tuned. checked over she's mint y'all nice and smooth checked all the dap redid this top here now it's just money Ooh, icy look at that it's so smooth guys running glass factory out of here uh, it's real nice and smooth that lacquer finish is real nice so that's it y'all like i said we left this centerpiece out to last but really we just went all the way around and then now she's done, right? Straight MDF. You know, we filled it, sanded it, dapped it, dusted it, primed it, redded it, dusted it again, put our finish coats on with a dap and buff in between those finish coats. And there you have it. So it's looking good, guys. Thanks so much for always tuning in. Much love, always. And I'll get a good video going um, with this from start to finish. It'll be dope. So much love, y'all. Stay tuned.